What's good with y'all boys? I know some of y'all need y'all's badges grinded, so make sure you check out the most legit badge grinding service in the community and just let them know Wavy sent you, man. All their links are down below in the description. Let's get right into this banger. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Wavy, and we're back with another video, bro. Before we even get into the video, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. We're about to be going crazy, y'all. So, as soon as I post my last build video, some people in the comments were saying that there's an 80 badge build. So I was like, I got to spread the word. I know some people have uh, already posted this, so shout out to them, whoever actually found it. But of course, it's going to be a point, uh, not a point for it, a power for it. Because this is the best build in the game, y'all. When it comes to positions, power forward is the best. I don't care what kind of build you're making. Just make it at power forward if you want more badges, bro. I don't care if you play strictly point guard or strictly center. Just make it at power forward. You're going to get more badges. So this is what we're rocking with. Uh, I still like my other build better. I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. It only gets 74 badges, but I don't. I just like it having interior defense. If you don't have interior defense, there's more of a chance that you can get bullied in the paint. But... This build does not have interior defense. I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to make it right now. Make sure your wingspan is 7'4. That is the key to get more badges. So make sure this is 7'4, or you will not get as many badges. Let's get right into it. After this video, y'all, I'll be trying to get into some more gameplay, but the park is so laggy right now, I just cannot do it. I don't want to post like choppy gameplay with y'all. So as soon as that gets fixed, I'll be going crazy. Drive and dunk all the way up. Drive and layup all the way up. We're going to ignore close shot for now. Stand and dunk all the way up. Three point shot all the way up. Midi all the way up. We're going to go ahead and get to 20 badges right here. After we get to 20, we're going to go to ball handle. Speed with ball. Pass accuracy. We want to get to 20 as well. And then this is where all your defensive badges come from. Now, when I upgraded all these last time, I would have only had 20 with this build you go all the way up to 24 instantly so after that just add your speed your acceleration and your stamina now you got all that fixed you don't need strength because of course you're, this ain't actually meant to be played as a power forward and then you have a couple extra attributes you can put it on post control and get up to 18 if you would like you can also get one more shooting badge if you would like or you could uh, get another playmaking. This is just your your opinion when it comes to this. You can do whatever you want with the last couple of badges. You can even try to go into your defense. So I would just leave mine like this. I like the way it is. We got 25, 20, 20, and 18. So that's clearly enough to go crazy. That's 83 badges, y'all. That's uh not more than my last build had. So. If you care more about badges, just rock with this build. It's actually a really good build. Now for the takeovers, I've tried finishing moves so far and I've tried limitless range. I've not messed with none of these other ones, but I feel like enhanced jump shot contest would be really good. And I also think that uh, easy blow buys would be really good. So it just depends on how you play. I'm more of a shooter with any build I use. so. I'm going to use limitless range, of course, and I think I'm going to start using one of these three. Uh, so it'll be one of these three at some point. I think I'm going to go with this one for now, but we'll see in the future what you go with. Of course, you get the mama mentality badge. You can change it at any point. So it really don't matter which takeover you pick right now. Then we're going to go ahead and test out the build. Now, I haven't tested every badge in the game, of course, because I'm not maxed. I've only had the console for going on two days, y'all. So, this is what I would use, though. So, first things first, I'm going to use Posterizer. Posterizer helps you dunk on everybody, if y'all don't know. Hall of Fame Posterizer is broke. It helps you dunk on literally everybody. It's crazy. Slithery Finisher, it helps you dunk on people, too. Now, it only says improves a player's ability to avoid contact. Trust me, it helps you get contact dunks. It was the same as 2K20 and 2K21 current gen. Now, a Giant Slayer, I don't know about this badge right now because you really don't need it because most people are only 6'9", and this build is 6'7". Most centers that I've played with are only 6'9", 6'10", at the max, so it's not going to help as much as it would, but I'm still going to put it on Hall of Fame because 
it is one of like the top tier finishing badges and it has been since it's uh been out now you could use lob city or something if you wanted i think i would go ahead and go with heat seeker this is boost your takeover with every dunk so you might as well use it or you can go with something like pro touch there's also a badge called fearless finisher this is like relentless finisher was back in the day and uh you can also do this if you want for your teammates but i would rather just go with fearless and that's what i'd rock with and then we'll go straight into the shooting there's a lot of good shooting badges this year it looks like i don't know what i'm gonna use for sure but th this is what i got on so far hall of fame hot zone deep threes now this is what i'm using so far because i'm not max but i think i would go with dead eye everybody says hot shot is really good now at this point you got six badges left i would go green machine probably and then uh stop and pop i don't know about stop and pop yet haven't used it but this is probably what i'll be rocking with uh for the start at least until i get used to all my badges that's probably what i'm gonna be rocking with now your playmaking is kind of your opinion but make sure you keep on handles for days unpluckable at least bronze quick first step always hall of fame everybody's saying bullet passer is good so i'm probably gonna put it on and then i'm gonna do bronze bell out there's Dahmer if you want it you can also put on floor general i also want to run ankle breaker because i iso you already know that i'm not taking no screens so and then you have four badges left now you can do whatever you want with this uh i think i would just throw on Dahmer or something just for now or you can just go ahead and throw on floor general that's probably a little bit better and then take your unpluckable up a little bit so there you go you can go crazy with that this is like needle threader y'all if y'all if y'all haven't seen needle threader it's just getting the ball to your hand, hands extra fast and making sure you pass the ball like quick instead of the slow passes 2k be making y'all do and then we'll go straight into the defense you got 25 defense so you got a whole lot to play with y'all i'm going hall of fame rebound chaser hall of fame and intimidator now intimidator is probably one of the most important badges makes sure you have it on uh after that some people are saying you need ankle braces because ankle breaker works so well i don't know for sure i haven't played many park games chase down i'm gonna put it silver clamps hall of fame of course rim protector i'm gonna go ahead and throw it on hall of fame probably and then at this point you can do whatever you want i would go with pogo stick and if you're running guard and you're getting hit with screens just go ahead and run pick dodger or you can just take this up do whatever y'all want when it gets to this point bro but that is going to be it for today's video i hope y'all enjoyed the video make sure y'all like subscribe and i'm gonna catch y'all boys later i got some more gameplay coming soon and i'm out peace